you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 18th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 5 verses 31 to 47 If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that his testimony to me is true. You sent messengers to John, and he testified the truth. Not that I accept such human testimony, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining light. and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light but i have a testimony greater than john's the works that the father has given me to complete the very works that i am doing testify on my behalf that the father has sent me and the father who sent me has himself testified on my behalf you have never heard his voice or seen his form and you do not know how his word abiding in you because you do not believe him whom he has sent you search the scriptures because you think that in him in them you have eternal life and it is they that testify on my behalf yet you refuse to come to me to have life i do not accept glory from human beings but i know that you do not have the love of god in you i have come in my father's name and you do not accept me if another comes in his own name you will accept him how can you believe when you accept glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one who alone is god do not think that i will accuse you before the father your accuser is moses on whom you have set your hope if you believe moses you would believe me for he wrote about me but if you do not believe what he wrote how will you believe what i say the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ my dear friends in jesus christ today we continue with yesterday's words of jesus to the jvc leaders Jesus reaffirms that God himself is the witness in four ways to the truth of all that Jesus says. The testimony of John the Baptist, although that was only human testimony, the works of Jesus give clear testimony of the divine origin of all that Jesus does. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me, the leaders could not see this but the words often testified to it with the enthusiasm the father himself has given a testimony although that has not been seen directly by some of the jews the father who sent me has testified on my behalf but you have never heard this his voice nor seen his form a careful reading of the scriptures will show they have testimony to jesus you search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through him through them even they testify on my behalf but you do not want to come to me to have life this is clearly shown later on by jesus when explaining the scriptures to the two disciples on the way to emmaus although jesus clearly comes in the name of his father he is not accepted or believed in yet some individual will come in his own name and they will accept further they keep looking into their own traditions rather than looking further to someone who clearly comes from god jesus will not accuse them before his father moses in whom they can claim to believe will be their accuser if you have believed moses you would have believed me because he wrote about me but if you refuse to believe what he wrote how can you believe what i say by moses is meant the first five books of the bible known as the pentateuch and whose 
authorship is attributed to Moses, although we know now by the dating of the various parts that this could not be possible. It was common in ancient times to attribute the authorship of the work to a well-known personality. How much of all this applies to us? Where do we ultimately put our faith? In the Christ of the New Testament or in Jesus we have tailored to our own wants. How familiar are we with the word of God in the New Testament? Where do we clearly see the recent Jesus bring God into our lives every single day? Amen. May God bless us.